Hatikans, the, the headline of Hatikans is art. So everything we do, every book has, is connected to art. Doesn't matter if it's art or architecture or photography, and doesn't matter from where it comes from, all over the world and from all times. Uh, the, the main thing is the quality. Uh, and um, yeah, and the, the history of Hatikans goes back to the years after the war, founded by Gerd Hatje. Uh, um, and he was sent to, to the United States where he learned what uh, he lost in Germany during the Second World War. And he found uh, Bauhaus in Chicago, or Mies van der Rohe, Gropius, uh, Breuer. And he decided to do books on these art architects and on artists from this time. And so he started his program. He was a typesetter actually, and, and uh, he started his program. He comes very. Um, um, Internationally, in a very short time, he worked together with Thompson Hudson, Obus Abrams, and other big publishers. And so he, he really makes a great program uh, during the 30, 40 years. And then he decided, when he got um, 19 years, he decided to, to um, sell his uh, publishing house. And he sold it to somebody who al already earned um, the Dr. Kansche Druckerei, which is a printing house very famous for artist prints. And um, so that comes together, Edition Kanz and Hatje Kanz publisher. And together they make our program today. So we, we do everything from old masters to fine arts to contemporary art, uh, architecture and photography from all over the world. Uh, you will be exhibiting at uh, Art Cologne. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you will? Uh, mm -hmm. Did you have uh, some new uh, um, publications mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. In at, at uh, Art Cologne, that is a it's a activity from the fair. So they they invited uh, several publishing houses, uh, art publishing houses, to to make a choice and to show this choice at the, uh, at, at the Art Cologne. I think it's a very nice idea for everybody to, to have a look. It's not for selling books, but it's only to, to show. It's a kind of a showroom. So we, we decided to send 50 of our no newest books to show them there, more contemporary arts and old masters, because it's a, that's the issue of the fair. Um, and besides that, we have a little goose with, uh, uh, with the publications, the first publications for the next documenta in 2012, um, the notebooks. Uh, there, there will be like 15 notebooks for the art, art, um, art Cologne, and we will show them there and explain a little bit the, the concept of uh, the, the publishing, publishing um, ideas of the documenta 12, uh, 13, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, you produce a lot of um, really ha more or less handcraft books. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that, but also um, how this is related or um, to the new media mm -hmm. ebooks. How do you um, see that in this yeah, whole picture of uh, mm -hmm. future of uh, publishing? Mm -hmm. I think it's very it's 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 really a, a special specialty of this time to to really go back to all this kind of. Uh, very nice material, good paper, good printing, high quality in this uh, in, in making of a book. Um, but this is also the text. It's very important to have a good editing, to have a good translation, uh, have good authors. So this all have to come together. And a book is something you really could have in hand, and and it really it smells, it it gives you some feelings, and that is very different from every computer. And so I think in these times it's very difficult, and people really look for something like this. Um, and that's why artists, young artists, kind of conservative, looking back, they really look for this kind of quality, and they really want to to uh, realize that. And um, besides that, we start with with, a, with, with the e-books publishing for these notebooks for Documenta because this is only text. I, at the moment, we only publish uh, e-books uh, text in e-books because this images with pictures is very difficult uh, because of the rights. It's one thing, and the other thing, it's also quality, it's something very different. But I think for text, for somebody in China or in somewhere else in the world who's interested in what happens to the documenta, that's very nice to have that and to have this possibility. So we decided to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, the rest is, I, I think it's, it's uh, for me, it's more 
book than iPad or something like this. And we already uh, publish uh, books connected with new medias like DVD or CD uh, years ago, 10 years ago. And today it's only a different kind of media where it comes from. So the iPad is something that makes people so nervous. But I think that not really makes a big difference in, in the content. Uh, um, the only thing is to, to really to connect different uh, pieces in, in a better way and that could be interesting but for me it's more interesting to perhaps ask an artist to really do something for this new media and find a very new idea not to to do the same like a book and then just put it in the ipad i think that's not very interesting so we stay with the books <laughs> yeah um future projects of uh, articles um, in general I think the world is getting bigger and bigger and the interest in art is, is really something that uh, grows worldwide. And art is the language for everybody, so it's possible to sell Richter in China or to sell the Chinese artist Ai Weiwei or whatever, somebody else here in, in Germany. Uh, so I think the, the world really is growing and we we very happy to, to work with this artist, to, to learn new possibilities perhaps for books as well, for layout, for work, how to work with art from this other parts of the world. And I'm looking very much forward to this new mixture. I don't know what happens, but we do our first Arabic book and we learn from this book that uh, it, has, it reads from the end to, to from the other side. And that means for us you have to do everything from, from the other side. So you have to look really from another perspective. And I think this is the best way to, to find something new. <laughs>